Hello my friends, this is Rachel from Sweet Bee Paper Co. And I have a little bit of an organizing video for you today. I really was trying to find a way to organize all of my, my dies. And I think I found a way, I've been kind of testing it out a little bit. And I wanted to kind of show you what I'm thinking about doing and getting the rest of them kind of organized. I got two of these containers, which are dusty. <laughs> I got two of these containers at Dollar Tree and it was the nicer Dollar Tree that we went, that like we go to every once in a while. These are really, really nice containers. And we went there last week and I was like, I'm gonna get a couple more of these because they're such good size. And they have little flip handles. They didn't have any more of them. So I'm glad I got the two that I did get. The other one I have kind of below my desk that I've been like kind of just saving for like some of the Tim Holtz ephemera stuff so I can keep that separate so I know where it is when I go to look for something. I'm just trying to get more organized, y'all. I'm trying to. And I even the plastic acrylic containers that are on my desk, I'm thinking about swapping some things out of there too. To the so it's the things I use the most because uh, I'm not sure I don't seem to be getting in a lot of the drawers a lot and so I think I can swap them out with something I use more often so anyway so let me show you what I've got in here but first a question for you <laughs> so I ordered a kitty die from a seller on AliExpress and they sent me this. I have no idea what it's supposed to be. Because, um, like, it kind of looks like a kitty anyway. But I have no idea what it is. I thought maybe it was a person holding a kitty. Maybe that's what it is. Holding a kitty. I don't know. What do you think it is? <laughs> I got my money back for not getting the one that I ordered. But I just... I cannot figure it out. Like, my my brain can't see it. I may have to look at their shop and see. And maybe I'll recognize it on something. So, okay. Does this have a size on it so we can... No. Okay, so I had gotten these 5x7 envelopes. I think these are 5x7. They're about 5.5 by seven and a half and they're velcro i have gotten oh that was loud i have gotten these to use for i think i did some kits with like different paper stickers and stuff like that and i had some left over so i ordered some magnets some five by seven magnets and tried it out so these are all of my christmasy words and so I can put two of them in an envelope, two magnets. I tried to just put things on the other side of the back side of the magnet, but it's got a, these are magnet stickers. This is the cheapest thing I could, I could find with this size magnet. And so they don't stick like hang on as well on the other side of this. So I put two in here to see how it goes and I absolutely love it I love it so far I did some of the Christmas things so I could um, try it out and see see if I liked it that much if I wanted to continue doing it I thought I did some more Christmas stuff so here's that one I did like just a couple different things like the deer and <laughs> the house stuff because this part goes to another another Tim Holtz set now I had a little piece that goes to that that I threw in here there it is so I want to make sure I put this little pine tree back in here so like that part goes with these here but I figure I can use the house and trees throughout the year. So then I kind of put some different 
different ones in there with it just to kind of have it out of the way. So then here's my tag ones. And <laughs> I just threw these in here in the back because I think I didn't have another magnet at the time I did this. I, you know, I really don't know. Or I, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to add these. And I feel like it's almost kind of a waste just having a couple of them on there. But it keeps them where I can see them. And I think it keeps them safe from like rubbing on each other. You know, I don't know if that makes a difference with the metal dies as far as like wearing them down. I really have no idea. And so that's what I want to do is I have some other ones in here. I was thinking about doing that with, see, here's my like leaves Christmas leaf things and there's a poinsettia one tree and then there's other trees behind that and I kind of just wanted them all together but I've got like window ones this is what I originally bought to organize all of them they're five and one eighth by five inch pockets and I I like the size of these, but it's just kind of like everything just jumbles in there, falls to the bottom like these, and you just can't see what's going on. So here's the thing too, is I'm not quite sure what I want to do with these. And I think I have, I have some more of those. I just don't know what to do with them. Like, do I want to break them apart? So here's a Halloween one I got to do. I just kind of started throwing everything in here. There's some labels. <laughs> Ow. I have some stamps in here that need to go. But I want to get more into using the die cuts and stuff. So that's kind of why I was thinking about what to do. So that's where I'm at. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with these. You know, I can always use them in like pen pal mail and just whatever. Maybe I can think of another project with them. So like these are still all together. So these I definitely want to do in one. You know, and like these are too. So here's the other window. Some labels. Like this one too, I took this one out and looked at it. There's so, just a bunch of little, little pieces. This maybe I can put in the back of one. <laughs> the Dollar Tree one. I have not seen anyone else find these. Here's my Halloween. Okay. So, yeah, so maybe that big one here I could put with this one. Maybe they'll fit on the back of the other one. Let, let's open it up and see. But I'm going to be uploading this after Christmas. You can see I have my Christmas stuff out because it's actually Christmas Eve. And... I want to get a bunch of words and stuff cut out for my Christmas junk journal. But I hadn't opened up that Tim Holtz thing yet. And I, ooh, and I hadn't done anything else. And I'm like, I need to just take a couple minutes. <laughs> get these organized. And be done with it. And I kind of think that I'm going to need another order of these magnets. So if you are interested in the magnets or these envelopes, I will have them linked down below. So for now, this is fine. You can see it. It's out of the way. And then I've got these two here. I really like these containers. Okay, so I am going to 
work on these for a few minutes see about getting them organized but let me know in the comments how do you store your die cuts i really want to know how you organize them and do them in case you know this doesn't work and i need i need a new idea <laughs> okay so so this is where i'm at I thought I had another container or another thing of these, which let me check. I thought I ordered these, but maybe I didn't, but I'm definitely going to need another pack of magnets. Okay. No, I had not ordered more of these. I don't know why I thought I did. Okay. So I need another pack of these, which the link I have down there, you get 24 of these. And if you think that's too many, I mean, I don't think I have that many of these. I've got seven used so far. And then I know I will need one, two, maybe five, six, 20 more. <laughs> I don't know how many I will need. Quite a few, I don't know. Either way, I really like these, um, and so I will use them for other things, too. Like, I've used them for, like, um, fussy cuts that I've cut out, stuff like that. I've put stuff in there, too. And oh, I have some more dies up there. And then, I don't know if you noticed, but this is actually what I originally bought for all of my die cuts. And I kept thinking, like... I know I have more than this because I have been missing that hello one, which this is my absolute most favorite one. It's so cute. And I had ordered a bunch of random ones off of, I think, AliExpress, which I'm not a big fan of all these. Um, I don't like weeding them very much. So I think I will be de-stashing that one probably that one <laughs> um maybe a couple more i'm just i just don't like doing it but so so i kept thinking i'm like oh my gosh i know i have more and yeah oh and then i need to put these with the halloween ones because those are fall ones The rest of these, I don't know. Like, I'm going to think about the de-stash for these because I did try these two, three, I believe, four. <laughs> I don't know. But I know for sure I do want to get rid of those. And I think probably these. So, like, these, I think these are from In Love Art Shop. I did, like, a promotion thing with them and this is where the hello is from as well these numbers are from them too I'm not a big fan of them because it's so hard to get them out there's a lot of like really tiny curves in there only a couple of the numbers really come out I saved it so I can look for maybe a better one and I got some stamps that I like a little bit better but I do want to find better numbers so then I have all of these, <laughs> which I can put with these and the Dollar Tree ones. So yeah, so I still have a mess. I thought I was at the point where I wouldn't have a mess. I still have a mess, but we'll get there. So this is what I'm going to do. I will, gosh, the, ooh, the Velcro on these is just loud see like these don't fit even on there very well but they wouldn't fit vert i don't know i don't remember what my thought process was what those were but yeah so this is where i'm at i guess i feel a little bit more organized maybe i think i'll try to make sure that i have things grouped together that i want to go together like i'll do these two in one and then maybe I can just put, I do want to have like a random one because 
I have like this girl. This is from In Love Art Shop too. It's so beautiful. That. And I have this from Spellbinders. This is. Okay. Maybe the Hello and this set. The Silhouette and the Wreath are my two, two favorites. See like I put that there. Because the little real things didn't fit. All three of them on one. <laughs> The, I I thought these would be so much easier to organize and they're not. But when I sit and like kind of look, you know, maybe when we get these kind of done, they'll be setting up better. When I look, I'll be able to, I think, put a, a label up at the top. So when I'm going through, I can find what I'm looking for and not have to look all through it. But so far, I mean, these look really good. I don't know if you can see it from your view but just be able to flip through I can put fall Halloween deer stuff like that but I mean that little container was it's just too little <laughs> it's too little for what I have now oh my nose is itchy does not mean I'm supposed to be coming into money <laughs> So I'm just going to set the ones I know are going to be going in. And then I have these. I don't know what these are. I think these are like toppers or something. I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to de-stash these too. I'm not a big fan of those. Okay. Okay. So that's it for this video. <laughs> I feel like I didn't get that much done, but I, at least I know kind of more of what I need. And I found that other thing, so I know I definitely need more. So, yeah, I hope you liked the video. Make sure you are subscribed. Check out the Facebook group. It's a private Facebook group linked down below in the description. Let me know how you store your dies. Maybe if I find a different thing that's a little bit better, I can change it. <laughs> but I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye. Mm -hmm.